What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to hit the like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell as I upload videos every single day. Now, the NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has come out and said there's a chance that they could adopt a Rooney rule to try to diversify the coaches in the league. I mean, we're talking about a league that is almost 80% black, right? 75, 80% black, but you only have like 30 teams. 80% black, 30 teams, and only about five black head coaches, five or six black head coaches. And then, then there's six uh, head coaching jobs open right now. And he's just basically saying that, I mean, there's no way in hell there should only be five or six black coaches in the league every year when 75 to 80% any given year are black players. That's just – that's – just doesn't make any sense. And then there's even, it's even less when you go to executives, right? Like team presidents and GMs. It's even less black faces when you get into the business side of things. Uh, so he's saying they may adopt a thing like a Rooney rule. But my only thing is the Rooney rule doesn't work. I mean, you look at the NFL. They, they have the Rooney rule and it's implemented. But, I mean, their league is 60, 65, 70% black. And there's not a bunch of black head coaches running around the NFL, and there's 32 teams. There's like, what, there's probably about four, five, or six black head coaches in the NFL. So I'm just not sure what exactly a Rooney rule will, will accomplish, right? Like, I, and it's not like black people are <laughs> incompetent. It's not like black people can't coach. We've seen black uh, coaches win Super Bowls. We've seen, well, I mean, we've obviously seen black quarterbacks go crazy in, in, in the sport, and then we've seen black executives win Super Bowls and draft all pro and pro bowl and Hall of Fame players. I mean, just look at the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens were led by a black GM for 20 years, and he drafted, I think, what, three or four Hall of Famers? Terrell Suggs, uh, Jonathan Ogden, Ray Lewis, Ed Reed. Suggs ain't in the Hall of Fame yet. He's still playing. But three Hall of Famers right now. Lamar Jackson's an MVP. He drafted all these guys and, and countless amount of pro bowlers and, and a 2,000 yard rusher and, and, and all pro players. So, I mean, I don't I don't know what what the what the Rooney rule is going to do for the NBA. And we see every year the NBA, one thing they have one problem with the NBA and the NFL has it kind of, too. But especially in the NBA, they recycle the same coaches. You see the same guys all the time getting jobs. Guys who haven't won anything, right? Mike D'Antoni. He ain't ever been in no NBA Finals. Has he ever won? He's never won a conference championship. Uh, Tom Thibodeau. He, he gets jobs every year for whatever reason. For what he did 10 years ago with Derrick Rose, he's he, he continues to get jobs every year. Tom Thibodeau, Mike uh, D'Antoni. Uh, we're going to see Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan is, is got a new job, and he he had Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. He couldn't make that work, right? He had Russ and Paul George. They couldn't get out the first round, right? And, and if it wasn't for Chris Paul, hell, this team shouldn't have been a playoff team this year, the OKC Thunder. So, I mean, like I said, we see a, a bunch of recycled coaches in the NBA all the time. And then you, you get the fact that guys like Mark Jackson never got a second chance. Jason Kidd is out of the league. He should be coaching somewhere. Ty Lue should be coaching somewhere. These are guys – Ty Lue has a championship. Jason Kidd's a Hall of Famer and has, you know, has a winning percentage – has a good winning percentage as a head coach in the NBA. So, just – Alvin Gentry, I mean, you like his winning percentage isn't that great, but you got to look at the situation he was in when he was in New Orleans. You had a disgruntled superstar because the team was so bad for so long that he wanted to get out, and then you get a bunch of young pieces from the Lakers, and, and you don't, and you get a GM that didn't hire Alvin Gentry, so he wants him out. So it's not Alvin Gentry's fault that the, that the Pelicans are what they are. I mean, it is. Nate McMillan, he goes to the playoffs four years in a row, has a once again a above five hundred winning percentage. And, and gets gets the boot when he's coaching the Indiana Pacers. Who's the best player in the Indiana Pacers? Victor Oladipo, who's been hurt the last two years. Malcolm Brogdon. How many games are you gonna win with Malcolm Brogdon as your best player? Sabonis. <laughs> come on, man. I mean, come on. He has to get rid of his best player, Paul George, in a trade. Like that's not Nick McMillan's fault. So I don't know, man. I don't know what a Rooney rule will do. 
a Rooney type rule will do in the NBA. I just don't. I, I, because the thing is, at the end of the day, the owners hiring who they want to hire, and and nine times out of ten, in most cases, it's not a black man. So let me know your thoughts on a potential Rooney rule in the NBA. Would it be a good thing, bad thing, or indifferent? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lexi Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. I'll see you next time.